All right, what up YouTube? It is Plock the Master Gamer here, and we are back at it with some Fable Anniversary. This is, of course, our heroic mode playthrough. And in the last video, we had just finished uh, wooing a uh, good old Lady Grey. And uh, as you can see here, we just got back from how. Thanks, you fucking asshole. Let me go. Uh, we just got back from this demon door here. And um, I was actually just going to continue with the quest. But I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I figure since we're already here, we might as well do a little bit of grinding. Just a little bit of experience grinding. Because, you know, we're already here at the Grey House. And there's already zombies here. So, I mean, why not? Honestly, why not? Honestly, I don't know how long we're going to do this for. Because I don't want the purpose of this video to really be fucking grinding for experience. Although, it has to be done at some point. Gotta get some of those magic spells and stuff, you know. Alright, I kind of think that might be plenty for now. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of this action here. So we just keep doing this, and this should get us like a decent amount of experience, actually. Oh yeah, look at all that experience we're getting. That's fucking crazy. Oh yeah, see that's, that's the fucking spot right there. That's what I'm talking about. I could have made this happen a lot harder if I did, or a lot harder. I could have made this happen a lot crazier if I fucking got this shit to like 100 or 150 or whatever. Uh, but that's that's about it. I don't want to waste like too many potions or anything right now. Let's uh let's get on with some real shit now though. Let's let's go to the Heroes Guild. See what we can do here. Okay, so I didn't really get a crazy amount of general experience. I definitely definitely wish I had something to spend some of this skill experience on. But you know whatever. It is what it is. So let's see. We've gotten some shiznit, so let's inflame. Here we go. We gotta get that inflame up. Can we do level four yet? No, we can't. So apparently, level four is what you really need for inflame. Like, inflame is basically useless until you hit level four. So that's kind of what I'm going for is that level four inflame. Um, can we fuck off from that real quick? God damn. You know, I wonder. Oh, man, I wonder so hardcore. Okay. So, force push level three. Can we do this? Oh, my fucking God, I'm a genius. No, I'm not. Wow, I have negative experience. That is a fucking thing right there. Are you shitting me? What? So that's fucking super weird. So just like you can do the like weird trading exploit or whatever, you can legitimately do that with experience and like what? So that's that's just super fucking bizarre. I'm not even going to lie. I did not see that coming one bit. So I I would imagine this only works for the will stuff cuz I don't know if you can do that and then yeah, it doesn't really transfer. Oh, I guess you can do it like this though. Um, so yeah, that's super fucking weird. You can utilize the availability of a lower level um, to uh, maximize one of your skills, but it still spends the amount of experience. So now I'm in debt. I have like experiential debt. I just created that term, by the way. Experiential debt is what I'm calling that because it's experience. So it's experiential, the debt. It's experiential debt. Look at all that experiential debt. We got to fucking make up now. That's crazy. So let's see. We got a gold quest, we got a silver quest, and we got a silver quest. So I'm thinking let's let's start let's start at the bottom of the ladder here, right? So let's fuck with the lost trader. Let's see what happens with this. This is like I don't I don't know if I really ever fucked with any of these quests that hard, so we'll we'll see what happens. But the other thing is where is this guy exactly? So abandoned road is where we're heading. I wonder if that's gonna like fuck up my game at all. I mean I've done plenty of stupid little glitches that have fucked up this game, but I don't know if I've ever, like, utilized, like, an in-game glitch to end up with, like, negative experience. That's something else. If I remember correctly, in one of the videos, like, something similar happened when I, like, spent more money on, like, diamonds than I actually had. And it, like, set my wealth to, like, zero automatically, but it still let me purchase everything. I don't know. It was weird. I, I kind of forget exactly how that worked out, but, yeah. Thomas, my brother is lost. Oh, no. Find the stranded traitor. Well, let me just uh, do a little bit of this nonsense here real quick. That's not as strong as people said it was. Everybody's all like, oh, that thing can kill like anybody. Super easy. I guess these are like, you know, tier two or three fucking 
Uh, no, these are pretty high tier. What do you call them? This thing only does like 300 damage. That's really not that much. I mean, it's not like a little bit or anything like that. I mean, 300 damage will still like get the job done on some of the weaker enemies and I mean it's definitely helpful when you got a bunch of enemies surrounding you but see so like this guy right here nope not even that guy yes yes I'm, I'm just like really trying to find like the use for this spell man maybe I mean I would assume it's definitely not as strong as it would be in the normal version of the game because this is heroic mode and it's anniversary edition I mean the anniversary part shouldn't really matter but heroic mode definitely definitely makes a difference in terms of damages and defense levels and that sort of thing so I'm not surprised that it's not very effective as it is let's see this is probably even more effective <clears throat> not quite is that it that's not really the whole quest is it um, I guess you can keep doing it though. I don't know. Every single time I've been pretty much waiting for them to get back up, and that's stupid. I don't need to do that. Just sit here and fucking wail on them. I guess that is actually kind of dope because you can just sit there and keep doing it. Whereas, like, other things kind of like knock you over and that sort of thing, and that can be annoying. But no, that just kind of like takes care of them. That's pretty good, especially when. So, the difference between Inflame and Force Push is Force Push will damage anything and everything around you, whereas Inflame only, um, only deals damage to friendlies. Or, I mean, to non-friendlies, to enemies, I guess. So, if you have somebody following you, like I do here, or in Trader Escort, and any of the other, you know, quests or whatever, where you might have a friendly follower that you're not trying to hurt, uh, you can be literally right next to them using this, and it doesn't hurt them at all. So, if you're being ambushed by a bunch of enemies, and you're starting to get a little flustered you just fucking hit them with the inflame and get them all off you real quick you know so i mean it's a pretty uh useful spell i'm definitely glad i have it now so that's it right that's the that's the quest it's over right that was really the whole quest that was the shortest quest like i f i can't help but feel like i'm missing something here so let's go back to the jild real quick i think we could probably pop out that other silver quest real quick real quick so let's uh let's break the sig and that was Kanat Hole Glade, I believe, right? Oh, come on, dude. There's no way you have enough experience for anything. God, we're still in deficit. Look at that shit. But, you know what we could do? Put ourselves in more of a deficit, maybe. Let's see. Oh, it won't even let me spend, like, my special experience. That's fucking wild. It's like, nah, -uh, dude. Not until you get rid of that deficit. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Damn, it's crucial. I need 15,000 experience before I can spend any more experience. It's great. No, it's fucking great. Oh, man. I forget what I'm doing. Oh, I, I remember this one. This one is, like, kind of interesting. Got him the guard tavern. Get rid of the scum bandits, friends. Talk to the guards over there when you're ready and he'll open the gates for you. Uh, I'm supposed to hold back the gannet. Hold, ba hold, back the band hold back the gandits. Hold back the bandits. So I'm supposed to hold back the bandits, I guess. And uh, what is the best way of doing this? Alright, let's see what happens. Come here. Yeah, this thing works. Look at that. Come at me, bro. That wasn't the whole quest, though. What? That was the whole quest? What the fuck? Damn. That was easy. I was worried for some reason. God damn. Okay. Well, shit. What the fuck? What the fuck am I supposed to do now? Well, I doubt we got, like, really any experience for that. So, I figure what we might as well do for the rest of this video is go go get some experience. Because, I mean, we might as well at least get ourselves out of deficit here. Because, God, that was a stupid thing to do. I mean, there's absolutely no way I could have ever guessed that that would end up having me in fucking negative experienceville. Oh, no. 
no, I killed everybody. Oh no. Okay, let's. Shit, where's my thing? There we go. Alright, fuck it, that's good enough. We're gonna go buzz back on over to the uh, old Heroes Guild real quick and spend this shit and get out of here. Okay, look at that. We're barely out of deficit. That's crazy. So, what we're gonna do... That's a good question. What are we gonna fucking do here? What do we actually need? Whoa, dude, that's 66k? Yeah, I'm not trying to put myself in a 6,000 experience deficit. I was thinking about using that stupid little glitch on that one, but no, I'm good, bro. And I think we'll do toughness, just because overall that helps us. God, what happens if I do that? Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna... So first of all, I'm going to save the game here real quick <laughs> before we go fucking up anything else. So I'm going to save this real quick and I'm going to see exactly what the fuck... Oh, it's too late. I can't undo the level up now. Shit. Oh, no. I can't. Okay, well maybe I can. Let's see. We still got some experience. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy a cheap spell and then it should give us the option to undo the level up. So what happens if I do that onto like something like magic power? Oh, it breaks it. It didn't like that. It didn't like that one bit. Holy shit. So anyways, good thing I saved the game, right? Anyways, <laughs> that's about it for this game. I kind of, for this game, for this video, I kind of broke the game here a little bit, froze it up, did whatever, crashed it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for what it was, even though I fucking broke it here at the end. But we accomplished what we needed to accomplish for this video, so uh, it's not that big of a deal. So anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you leave a like if you did. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to see any more of this content or any of my other gaming content for that matter. And as always, make sure you're leaving suggestions down in the comments below. If you leave suggestions for future videos, I'll definitely take those suggestions and I'll make them into videos. And then I'll take your comment and give you a little bit of a shout out in the video too. So that's always nice. And yeah, with that being said, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable Anniversary with our Heroic Mode playthrough series. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.